What is happening everybody, Dirty D's out here. Hey, today we're gonna make this video nice and simple. I am going to show you the editing process that I use for the GoPro Max 360. Yes, I'm taking you behind the scenes and I'm gonna show you why I dig this camera. In another video, I'll tell you the things I like about it and the things I don't, but today we're just gonna keep it to the editing process, specifically editing on the iPhone. Because look, I don't take any of this video and edit it in my laptop. There's no way I'm gonna start messing with all that. For me, I like to keep things really, really simple. I know that if things get too complicated, I'm not gonna be using it for a very long time. This, I wanted to make sure that my investment paid off, and that's why I'm sharing this video here with you right now. All right, let's just jump right into it. First of all, when, after you record something on the GoPro Max 360, it's gonna live in here, but you gotta figure out how to get it onto your cell phone. The way that that's going to happen is you need to have this hooked up to the same Wi-Fi that your cell phone is hooked up to when you're sitting in your house, right? So this is on Wi-Fi, that's connected to Wi-Fi, and these two are going to communicate. You're actually going to be linking these up. So how does that work? Well, first of all, you have to have this fully charged and it has to be on and it has to be on the charger for it to start uploading. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like now. Okay, so I shot something earlier on this. It's fully charged already. I'm gonna pop the door open here. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Ah, all right. So you can see here, and now it says on the screen, starting upload, connecting to GoPro Plus, all right? So I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little while. I'm gonna let it upload all of the video that I've taken already, and then we're gonna come right back to it. What's gonna happen is it's going to upload everything into the cloud. Then I'm going to access the cloud from my cell phone and then move things from the cloud into the app. So that's the process and that's kind of the flow of how information gets from this camera onto your cell phone. All right, so now that I'm on the GoPro app, I'm gonna click down here in this little file icon. This shows me all the files that have been uploaded into the cloud. Any of these that I want to edit though, I have to switch them over into the app, so I need to download them. Let me find a really quick little clip here, maybe of just a couple of minutes. I think this one will work just fine. Yeah, here's one that's like 45 seconds. All right, so as you can see, it looks kind of funky right now, but don't worry because we are going to download it. It's got the countdown, show me that I've got about six minutes remaining. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let this thing load up. The download is complete. I wanna to go to view media, and now I see that clip, that little 45 second clip is now on my phone. It's on the app side. So it used to be here on the cloud side, and now it's on the app side. Now that it's in the app, now I can go ahead and edit this. You click on this icon here, this kind of helps you to set the key frames, but here's a cool part about this 360. If I tap right here in the center, I can see absolutely everything that I've recorded, man. Very, very cool. And if I hit play, not only can I see it, of course I can hear everything, but I can continue to change all of the key frames. I can look at any of these views. Now this is really cool because what I'll do sometimes is, let me just hit pause, hold up. They say a picture says a thousand words. A 360 video will give you a thousand pictures. So sometimes I'll just take a screenshot, maybe of this right here, boom, post that, boom, post that straight up to Instagram. It might be this shot. It might be this shot. It might be, I don't know, maybe it's this shot or maybe it's that shot. Man, all of this stuff is done in the phone. So anyway, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit, set up my horizon line, and I'm gonna show you how we edit this kind of stuff. Let me just move my, right here, I can just scroll back and forth any which way I want. I'm gonna start off by just setting this keyframe right here by hitting that dot button, all right? So that now is set as a keyframe. I can change it by moving around. Let's say that I didn't want my keyframe to be like that. Let's say that I wanted to show me first. So all I have to do is swivel around, hit the check mark button, and now that's my beginning frame. I'm gonna hit pause. Maybe I wanna switch up the frame right now and give you one of these first person views, all right? All I had to do was, again, 
just tap the little icon down here. I can tap it again and delete my keyframe, or I can go right back, tap it again, and now it's set. You see that little pencil icon? That means that it is set. Let's say that we want to get a good clip of this person in the car, right? Or maybe I just want to follow that car a little bit. I'm gonna hit a keyframe there. All right. Hit the check mark. Maybe I wanted it to follow there. Boom. And we're good. All right. So let me show you what it looks like so far. See how it switches like that? Depending on the keyframe, depending on where you have that camera, that's your camera view right there. Boom, that's it. All right, here are a couple of other things that you can do. These little icons here, if you hit that scissors button, that means that it's going to let you clip just that one little piece. See, anything that's in black there is gonna be the piece that gets saved. Everything else is gonna get thrown out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it again. I'm just gonna reset that, okay? So it's not clipping anything out. Let me just hit the X button up there, okay? So we're gonna continue on with our little film here. Here's another thing that you can do. I can freeze frame, or I can even change this to be one-to-one -one frame, that aspect, that's better for Instagram, for example, although that's a heck of a crotch shot. Probably won't have that in there. You can do it like that. You can do it in 4.3, or you can do the aspect at 16 to 9, which is typically what you're going to use for YouTube anyhow. All right, and that's really it. It's pretty friggin' simple. Here's another little thing you can do. If you tap right up here, this just gives you different type of transitions. All right, so let's say that we want to do a jump cut instead of doing those smooth transitions. Now let's play that. Watch what happens to the camera. Boom, just switches like that, just that jump cut. Hard switch. All right, I can go back and change that up. Make it more smooth, and they call them transitions. It's more like how the camera's moving. Yeah, pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. Now, you're gonna render the video, and as you can see, it's, it's rendering it because that video that we were just looking at, that's a low res video. Now we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna get rendered, it's gonna save into high res, and then now I'm gonna show you how we get this video into my editing software onto my laptop. Now there are probably a thousand different ways on how to do this. I'm just gonna share with you the way that I do it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit share, this blue button here. Now I could share this straight into Instagram, straight into Facebook, straight into YouTube if I want, but I'm gonna save it into files. I'll save it to my phone or Sometimes I'll put it straight into iMovie if I want to edit videos, put music behind it, and then put it straight up onto Instagram. You guys have seen some of those before. But here, I just want to save it to my iPhone right now. All right, so hit save. And boom, there it is. So this is now on my iPhone along with all my other pictures. So guys and gals, I'm telling you, it's really simple and that's one of the reasons, like I mentioned earlier, that I got the 360 Max. These 360 video cameras, they're coming out fast and furious and a lot of them are incredible. It just depends on your personal preference. I mean, this little thing is small enough that I can keep it in my pocket. I don't have a lot of gadgets to carry around with it. It's just this camera. It comes with a lot of other cool stuff. I'll do a complete review on this video camera here, probably in the next month or so. I've been carrying this thing around since January and I tell you what absolutely love it but one of the biggest things I love most about it is the ease of editing I just showed you how that's done how do I get that video from my phone into my laptop yeah all you have to do is plug it right in with the USB and then drag that file on into the editing software nice and simple if you have any questions feel free to leave them down here in the comments section I'd really love to hear what you think about this editing workflow is it as easy as you thought it would be is it more difficult than you thought it would be or maybe that you heard it was 
Let me know what you think. Any questions you have on this stuff, feel free to reach out to me. I'll throw my email address down here as well. All right. Peace out, everybody. Have a great weekend and keep your eyes and ears open for a video coming up soon.